Hey guys, what's up? Andre here of Cinemov.com. Today, something totally epic, Lord of the Rings. A very good franchise, I really liked it in 2003, I think. And what we got here is the ACI Toys Aragorn. So, that's um, Aragorn from, I think, the first and the second movie with his full, complete outfit and all the accessories you need. And as you can see, I already touched up the, the wig or the hair sculpt, well, the hair style in this case. And I will give you some details how you could do it and uh, for what to look out for. So stay tuned for this short video review. All right, just a quick look at the box as usual. So here we've, uh, we've got the ACI logo. Um, it's my first and maybe my last ACI uh, figure because they had to uh, let down the Lord of the Rings license. I have no idea what's the reason for because the two figures they released, so with Aragorn and the Nazgul, a ring wraith, they were exceptionally well done. So I'm not sure what is the exact reason. There's another player around, um, Asmus Toys, which also does a good job, but compared to the to the ACI figures, I don't think they they're that good. So yeah, we will see how this turns out. Maybe they can reacquire the license in some time. And as you can see on the back side, you got the full overview of what you get with the figure. And then of course the different manufacturer info. And it has all a very nice print and style. And the first thing that really caught my eye was the color because if you compare the color to the to the DVD box set well at least the European DVD box set so we've got it here in Germany it was called Der Herr der Ringe uh, the fellowship the Gefährten and it was an extremely nice box set I have no idea if it looks the same in the United States or elsewhere and it really reminded me of these boxes so it has a nice tone and I think the Nazgul box is it's blue and I think the, the second movie, the second extended edition on uh, DVD had uh, a blue cover. So it's a nice, nice edition if you already have the DVD set. Unfortunately it's not uh, HD quality. So um, let's flap up here the, the box. As you can see there's some details inside. Like for example you have a, a print of Aragorn with Unreal very nice and here on the left side you've got a huge lot of the rings logo so that's about it you've got two different layers for the items and the figure but it's all very high quality okay let's have a first close-up at the magnificent head sculpt because this is what it's all about on this figure and you won't get it that way right out of the box. So here on the right side I will show you some pictures, just two of them, how it looked right out of the box. So the, the hairs, the rooted hairs were quite a tad longer. And the way to do this now, take your time. Take about one hour, maybe two hours. Because if you don't, if you don't hairdress or, or a hairstylist, you will definitely crap this. So take a scissor like this, nothing too big something which which is sharp and then start cutting from below this is really important start cutting from below no straight lines just from below part for part and it will then look quite natural if you're finished cutting the different sides you also can um, take out um, each each rooted hair if you if you want to lighten and to make it a more um, a bit more flat looking because right out of the box it has a lot of hair so the best way to remove those hairs is just to pick each single hair and just pull it out maybe with uh, tweezers or something like that and then of course the second big challenge is to get his uh, his curls the right way and I'm not totally happy um, already but I think it's quite a quite good um, well, quite a good achievement for, for me at least, because I have no idea how to uh, style hairs, especially on dolls. So what you can do, um, you can use some hair gel uh, or some hair spray, uh, spray and just uh, flatten the side parts of the hair 
and then you start um, try to curl and to sticken the, the front curls before his forehead with some more hair gel and luckily in the end they will may stay in place and it will look somehow like this. Then um, I will show you a comparison shot on the right side. There are different hair sculpts we go ahead in the movies. I wanted to go for this one where he has a bit more wet looking hairs and the curls going in front of his, his forehead. And that's about the style I wanted to achieve. And I think there are other styles. There were some cool promo shots of ACI and I think Jingo Bell, uh, one of the Hong Kong bloggers, did some great photos. And you just have to get some reference photos to do this job. And I'm sure you, you can achieve some good results if you use some, some material and, and some hair styling products. So yeah, I'm really happy with this head sculpt. Um, I wasn't too, too impressed on photos, but when I saw it in the first time in hand at my friend's Nanny D collection, uh, I just know instantly I know I had to get this figure and Guys, it's quite a pricey acquisition right now. It costs over 350, I think, especially for the special version where you get Enderil, the second sword, or the main sword, Aragorn head in the movies. So let's get a bit more into the details of this figure. So let's continue first to the accessories. A lot of them are already mounted to the figure. So the first thing you can see here is a grey cape with some dirt um, highlights I will show you just in a second on the back side and of course you have this leaf which is a thick plastic but totally authentic to the movie then you've got the necklace of Arwen I think the evening star it's called and then you've got a strap with the arrow quiver on the back side so let's turn him shortly and have a look at the cape so the cape is extremely well done. You've got even a hoodie here and as you can see you have some brown highlights going on. So cool. And the quiver as well. Nicely sculpted. Some cool highlights. You can take out the arrows and look at the details here. It's plastic but all the details are here in the paint application. You even saw, see this edge here for the for the string. So and if we continue downwards you can see he has like a leatherish overcoat with nice texturing going on. Then he has a vest below with cool strings all manually attached. And if you go even lower you can see the weapons he comes with. So he has two swords in the special edition, so this is the default sword he has in the beginning of the movie and this is of course the epic Andoril Flame of the West, which is like a, it's basically the reforged Narsil from his forefathers and so basically you get die cast blades. So this is die cast, it has really a weight to it, it's stable. It's nicely sculpted and of course the sheets are very very stable as well. So let's have a close look at Anderil and as you can see on the forearms he has two cool guards with inscription on it. So nice. And with Anderil you've got of course the, the sheet which uh, you can attach to the, to the belt. It's quite a long piece actually. I mean the sword itself is huge. And the only thing they didn't do is here the inscription on the actual blade. So there, there would be an inscription running down and this is something that is missing. Um, I saw on the Sideshow Collector Sports that there's a, I think it's a leather opener in style of Enderil which has these inscriptions. It's almost the same scale. Maybe I will pick that one up. So yeah, basically all the stuff you need and even more. So if we go down, there's the other accessories you get with the figure. So first, this one I probably throw back to the to the box is well a torch, 
but um, as my friend Andy D pointed out it should be more yellowish uh, head over to his video review of course he also has a nice hairstyle running for this figure then we've got the elfin dagger and here um, surprisingly they did the inscription and it looks extremely well here I'm not sure I think it I think it's also die cast and of course here you have a you have a sheet as well that you can attach to the to the belt just push it in just a quick look at the other sword because it looks very nice as well and what really shines here is on the sheet you have like a sculpted dagger onto it or I don't know if maybe it's a, a sharpening knife probably more sharpening knife and as you can see it slides in extremely well also here you can could attach it to the belt then you get his bow which right out of the box it has the string wrapped around so it will look something like this but like like many many times and I wondered yeah where is the string you just have to release these two parts here and then you have really a string mechanism maybe you can even fit him with with the figure and one of the arrows in it then a nice detail piece the pipe that he's using in I think the first scene where he meets meets up the hobbits in this tavern and then of course you have different styled hands so his right hands are always gloved and his left hands are free and what really cool is here they they even gave him the ring uh, well, here we've got a pointy finger ri ring hand and the other one I really like which I mounted to end the rail so you can basically pose two hands into one sword that's really cool so a pose like this is absolutely no problem you can fit Android in two hands I think the hand packs have a lot of motion a bit more than Hot Toys hand packs or ankles and you also can do it the other way so if you want to have Aragorn um, pointing the sword downside that's absolutely no problem so there's a lot of things going on with this figure a lot of um, details on the suit so let's have a, another 360 so you see the stitches here the weathering is amazing amazing I love these forearm guards or gauntlets so cool then the material they're using on this cape is exceptional it drapes extremely well you can um, pose it by itself there's no wire in it and it will hold in place at your liking so really really nice all right guys before i close this video review i almost forgot that um, you get of course a base with this figure it's nothing special um, really cheap plastic not specially painted but it looks um, like a stone floor at least so yeah what can I say I'm really happy with this release of ACI toys it's a really pity that they can't continue the Lord of the Rings license or the figure line I mean imagine that we could receive a Gandalf or a Legolas or a Gimli from them would have been amazing but it doesn't seem to happen in the in the next future so let's see what Asmus toys has up and but looking at the quality of their different releases or the lines uh, ACI was definitely a step ahead and I would say a big step ahead in terms of the head sculpt maybe not so in the terms of the of the outfit and the sculpting but let's see how this turns out so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video review and I hope you could uh, take something with you on this hairstyling thing which could be a bit more usual in the future for once in scale figures. So thanks for watching guys, see you around, bye bye.